In this video, we're going to look at factorizing quadratic expressions. So here we have a quadratic, x squared plus 6x plus 8. So whenever we have a quadratic like this, there is a basic rule we need to know. That is, the sign at the end will always tell us what to do. Now, because we have a plus at the end, the rule is we must always have the same signs in both brackets. But at the moment, we don't know if it's two minuses or two plus signs. But what there must be something here that indicates that, and it's the one in the middle. Because I've got a plus in the middle, it means that both brackets will contain a plus. So open two brackets, write x in one, x in the other, a plus here and a plus here. Then we take the number at the end, which is eight, and we say what two numbers times together to make eight? Well, it can't be any old factors of eight. It needs to make the middle term, which is six or six x. So we can say, right, we know that four times two definitely makes eight and four plus two definitely makes six. So they're the required factors I need. So you write x plus four in one bracket and x plus two in the other bracket. Try this question, pause the video, and then I'll go through my work solution. Okay, welcome back. Well, for this question, we know that we've got a plus at the end, which means that we have the same signs in both brackets. Then we have two brackets like this, x here, x here. And then we want to say, well, what sign is it? It's the one in the middle, so it's a plus, so it's a plus here, and a plus here. And we know that the factors of 15 are five and three, and we know that five plus three definitely make plus eight, which is the middle term. So we get plus five plus three, so we should get x plus five times x plus three. In this question, Again, it's the same principle. So whenever we've got a plus at the end, it means the same sign. So it's the same signs in both brackets. But this time we have a minus in the middle. So what this means is we're going to have an X here, an X here, a minus sign here and a minus sign in both brackets. Take 30 and say, well, I need the factors of 30 that make 17 in the middle. So that's 15 times two is 30 and 15 plus two makes 17, but I want minus 17, so it's got to be minus 15 and minus two. So I get x minus 15 in this bracket and x minus two in that bracket. Try this question, pause the video, and then you can watch my work solution. Okay, welcome back. So again, same principle. We say the same signs in both brackets here. So we could say that whenever we have a sign in the middle, it's a minus, it indicates that we're going to have a minus in both brackets. So we'll have an x minus in this bracket, x minus in that bracket. We want the factors of 28 that make 11 in the middle number. So it's 7 times 4 definitely makes 28. And minus 7 and minus 4 definitely make minus 11. So we get minus 7 minus four, so we get x minus seven times x minus four. And the last case is whenever we have a minus sign at the end, as in here, this means that we're going to have different signs in both brackets, different signs in both brackets. So now we can say that we open two brackets here and then there's an x here and there's an x here. One's a plus, one's a minus. And then we can say, well, what's the factors of 24? Well, that's going to be six times four. Remember, we're trying to make minus two in the middle. So it's going to, and this is an important rule. Because we've got a minus two, it means the bigger number must contain the minus. So it's minus six plus four. And you know that minus six plus four definitely makes minus two. So we get a plus four here 
and we get a minus six. And that's it, that's my solution. Here's a question for you to try. Pause the video, give it a go, and then you can watch my work solution. Welcome back. So again, the minus at the end means different signs in both brackets. So we've got different signs there. And so we're going to have two brackets like this, x here and x here. One's a minus, one's a plus. We want the factors of 35, which is seven and five. So we're going to get, we want minus two. So remember the bigger number must contain the minus. So it's minus seven plus five, definitely makes minus two. So we get x minus seven and x plus five as my final solution.